Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to my channel. I just got done shooting a video walkthrough on the lovely uh, catamaran behind me. She's a uh, 2007 50 foot uh, Morley and Melvin custom design that goes by the name of Shooting Star. Uh, we're taking a break from our regularly scheduled Miami International Boat Show programming to bring you this very important brokerage boat. As usual, I have a full listing sheet down in the description for you. All right, thanks and enjoy the tour. All right, so we're here in lovely Fort Pierce, Florida on the catamaran dock, looking at a 50 foot uh, custom built Morley and Melvin design by the name of Shooting Star. Uh, this boat was built by Catman Cats, you might recognize, is also the builder of Rumba, another really cool custom power catamaran that is uh, also currently for sale. But getting back to the matter at hand here, this is again a Morley and Melvin design out of California. America's most celebrated catamaran designers and uh, she's you know a fast boat this is a performance cruiser with an emphasis on performance as I like to say and she is real sleek so looking at the sugar scoop first you're gonna notice you've got a pull-up rudder where there's your cassette and you can just pull the entire rudder up uh, that little weird contraption at the end of the other sugar scoop is actually a hydro generator it's not a motor this isn't an electric boat uh, but uh, you can use that to actually generate power. Now the aft section of the boat is a platform dedicated to the dinghy. You can pull the dinghy up and down using the boom crane which extends on the end right there. You just run the topping lift, uh, topping lift through, through the end of there and you can pull the, the dinghy up and down. It's got an Italian AB dinghy aft section of your boat has a real beefy traveler that runs uh, the entire, ne uh, nearly the entire length of the boat. Here you've got a fold down cleat. Most of the cleats on this boat are fold down and your backstays are actually synthetic. There's very little metal on this boat. Um, there is some, some of the rigging is actually uh, rod rigging, but most is actually Dyneema. And if you want to know more about Dyneema rigging, I'll uh, put a link in the upper hand uh, to the guy who sort of wrote the book on it, so to speak. If you're watching, uh, here's a shout out for you, Herbie. Eat your heart out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about it. And you can you can adjust you can adjust basically all the rigging just by again adjusting the knots down here. And again, the construction on this boat it's a composite construction, very lightweight. It's a rollover joint, so the deck is just molded to the rest of the side of the boat. You've got your chain plates right here. We'll uh, look at the rig. Most of the sails on this are North Sails 3DI. Real great stuff. Real interesting, interesting weave. It's a carbon rig. And they definitely did not skimp on the height here. The boat is made for speed. Now the foredeck area of this boat, I think, is really um, the most interesting. One of the things you're going to notice as soon as you step up here is there's no crossbeam. Instead, you have this huge longeron, and I mean, this thing is just a fantastic piece of engineering. It runs nearly, uh, probably like a third of the overall length of the boat, if not a little more, and it eliminates the need for a crossbeam. And it also provides some other interesting functions I'll get to later. But this thing is just, I mean, it's just huge. It, it puts nearly every other Longeron I've ever seen on a catamaran to shame. At the end of the Longeron, you can, of course, mount your uh, spinnaker sails, Code Zero, Drifter, things like that. You've got your jib, which is attached here. It'll take a moment to appreciate the lines on this boat. It's it's real. It's a real interesting beast. I've never seen uh, one quite like it. And if you're wondering where the pilot, the helm station is, of course it is inside. There's no forward cockpit here. So we'll look at the storage areas in here. Special boat. Yep, special boat indeed. <laughs> and the owner has added some extra tankage. And the rest of the locker can be used for lines and fenders. And I like just like to draw your attention to just how light this this hatch is it's just it's it feels like it's I'm lifting air and the other locker you come across 
uh, this is where your anchor sits as well as the uh, second second tank and the way this works is that there's very little anchor chain actually on the boat so it runs again to the end of the longeron where then there's a retrieving line and the rest of the anchor road is made up of rope again it's dyneema and it runs into another locker you actually is technically a bit of damage but that's how the construction is it's all very high high density uh, closed cell foam core the result is a very stiff light structure uh, in forward lockers you've got a uh, a sail locker as well I'll flash some footage of that uh, beforehand back out I would mention what the sail area to displacement uh, ratio on this boat is but I looked on the Morley and Melvin website and they didn't actually list what the displacement was probably because the builder didn't tell them the final number so I'll have to do the calculations later and tell you all right up top on the coach roof you've got a uh, is a set of windows here that can be enclosed if you want to let in more sunlight into the boat if you're in a cold climate you've got a pair of two solar panels on either side for uh, generating extra power and I mean it's my opinion this boat is basically a convertible open bridge deck catamaran you can lift up these windows basically if you want to you know so this boat is it's very functional for both hot weather and like I said, up top, cold weather. And the owner does take this boat to, you know, both cold weather and hot weather climates. Yeah, and we got our second set of shrouds. Whoa, big fish. <laughs> and come down, I'll give you a little bit of a look at the hydro generator just in case anyone's curious about how this thing works. You just use this line to let it down and, well, it spins freely when it's in the water and it's turned on. All right, so we'll head inside first. And the way this boat is enclosed, as I said, it's kind of a sort of a convertible open bridge deck catamaran. You can open up all of these panels. They slide out on tracks. And they're actually not made of isinglass it's made of something I'm told is called Rainier glass. It's a bit more stiff and it's actually able to be tinted so you can cut down on the amount of light that enters the salon. So we're now in the interior of the salon and first mate Fred actually wanted to uh, demo this feature for me. So if you notice this boat has a pair of helm seats for the interior helm station and they actually do something which is really neat, which is that they are adjustable. So they're mounted on this set of rails that can slide forward, back, and the seat height itself can go up and down, but you can rotate them 180 degrees and slide them backwards toward the stern. And then you have this carbon fiber table where you extend the slat here, and then you fold it out. And there are, there are three slats to support the entire length of the table. And then you have additional seating here like I said these windows are tinted so uh, you can see out of them more easily than you can see in you've got huge nice views off the aft end of the salon wraparound seating and the interior as well also has a sea deck as well so it's nice and nice and comfy gives a nice spring to your step not as tough to walk on Again, looking at the uh, helm station, we've got this huge wheel, carbon fiber, of course, and you know, it's the real stuff. All the carbon fiber on this boat is the real deal. Uh, you know, it's not just veneer. There's also carbon fiber poles for support on either side. And like I said, with these two chairs, they're really like ergonomic office chairs. I mean, they're just really comfy to sit in. Uh, you know, just doing a long watch on one of these chairs is, is probably much more comfortable than virtually any other chair you'll find on a catamaran. It's like really having a high-end ergonomic office chair. So you've got all your engine controls down here, as well as a B&G chart plotter. Grab rail going forward. 
You've got seating on either side. Two lazarettes down here for storing all your lines, and there are a total of 34 clutches, I counted. Not, not all of them are active, per se. Some of them are uh, just more intended to be used to hold things in check, but uh, there's a lot of clutches. We've got a pair of Anders of stainless steel Anderson winches. These are two-speed winches, but they're also uh, one-speed electric. Yep, you got a Spectra down here, and of course the compressor plates. The galley is on the other side, so you can also access the compression compressor plates for the fridge and freezer. Thanks. Another nice thing is just you notice how all of the hardware on this boat is just really. It's just really solid. I mean, this is hugely solid hatch right here. I mean, if you were using this boat in uh, sort of open, more of an open bridge deck style, if you took a wave here, this would be able to just block off any water ingression at all. All right, heading into the galley. We've got a dual basin sink. Three burner stove with microwave sort of uh, area back here for uh, you know maybe doing work or uh, uh, just eating in peace the flooring on this boat as well is all synthetic uh, lawn seal so it's synthetic teak and the way that you actually access this stuff is access the panels below is you just use this little hook right here, you bring it out, and there you have access to all of the boat's internals. And their access panels are very generous. So you have access panels virtually every, every other couple inches or so. So you can access the boat's internals real easy. You've got a, a, a fridge and freezer here. I like that these are at these are at standing height level. And if you want to have your mind really blown, we open up this here. Ta-da! We actually have the engine. So yes, the engine is kind of like the uh, is mounted center mounted and the in the boat. So you know, why do you want to mount the engines here? It's because one, if you're worried about performance, keeping the engines centrally located helps uh, you know, keep weight in an optimal distribution. And actually, the way that you fully access this is you lift this up and then there's another latch here. I can't do this one-handed, but uh, you do that to remove this here and then here's your engine. And these engines are shaft drive. So, uh, and the shaft is actually fully encapsulated in the keel. I'll flash a photo of that real quick so you can, can see what I'm talking about. And yeah. Yeah, that's just that's how you um, that's how the engines work on this boat. It's not incredibly uncommon. The St. Francis 44 does the same thing. Same goes for the Antares line of catamarans, which are also shaft driven. So the engines have to be mounted in the uh, galley. That's how they that's how they like to do it. And they haven't changed. OK, coming back to reality, uh, I will say that Morley and Melvin did a good job of optimizing the storage on this boat, even though I know, you know, she's not a fat cat. She's made for speed, but there's still storage for uh, all your odds and ends. Most of the owner's personal effects are still on board, so I won't be opening many cabinets, as well as that would make the video pretty long. Okay, you've got a door that leads to the first stateroom, and notice how this door, in fact, all of the doors on this boat are magnetically latched, so everything just snaps into place. You got a sink off to the side here next to your dagger board trunk. So it is daggerboard, of course, but I didn't mention it because they're real easy to miss when you're topside. As far as your head arrangement goes, this is a one and a half, uh, one shower, two head arrangement, basically. And the first forward stateroom. And of course, there is storage under all of the beds here. All 
Your electrical panel is on the opposite side of the boot. Stepping down into the first, the second hull, find the shower. as well as the aft stateroom. And the interior on this boat, I know it's not, you know, it's if you're looking for fancy interiors, this is probably not the boat for you. It's mostly plain, just, you know, a nice white uh, veneer, as well as you have nice accents of bright work here, which have been kept up very well. Interior shows very nicely, I'd say. Amidships, we have a, this is where your second engine is gonna be, as well as another storage area, and actually another electrical area. This boat, by the way, is lithium uh, high-on batteries, brand new. And then you have all of your inverters and battery controllers. And I like how this is all, again, all at, you know, um, standing level. You don't have to crouch down into uh, some compartment somewhere. Also, we'll take a uh, time to notice just the quality of the, again, the quality of the hatches on this boat. It's very good stainless. I mean, it's just very nice. Everything opens and closes smoothly. Lovely. We'll finish up in the final stateroom on here. This boat is a technically a three cabin and one, yes, one and a half bath boat. And here you have all these, all the cabins have their own storage locker. Here you have just dive equipment as well as some fishing reels. And your second dagger board trunk. You can see the controls run up here back to the salon. All right, that will wrap it up, I think, for Shooting Star. So if you have any questions about her or wanna go see the boat, do drop me a line. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike, leave a comment. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.